So we've had a different type of SPC out today, and it involves the player picks. Now, we did get a brand new animation for player picks, which now makes a lot more sense, to be honest with you. We have got a 73 times 3 of 10 player pick. So in a nutshell, you get to pick 3 players out of the 10. Now, is it worth it? It's an A3 rated squad. If you do manage to get somebody decent, then obviously you're going to say yes, of, of course. I think this one is probably worth the punt at an absolute minimum. Um, the best thing is you can obviously go with this and just change it to an 83. We can then change this uh, up to an 83 as well. It, it really didn't make a difference to do that. And that is fantastic because <laughs> my second account does not have fodder. That is beautiful. So we can just whack a few people in. We've got a few 84s because I realized... I did this on the main and probably should have done a video on it because it is a very interesting concept when it comes to a player pick because this is more than likely going to be the start of a lot of player picks like this and different upgrades they try. Now, I am quick to bash EA for doing the same content, objectives, upgrades, yada, yada. We, we always see the same. So when they try something different like this, I can at least give them some flowers for it. It may not be absolutely game breaking and there, there's plenty to be fixing on the game but when they are trying something different at least give them the respect of saying okay i can see what you're trying here so with this you obviously have got the new animation you've got to pick three players we have got the fc live one as well let's uh obviously you can reveal all as well which to be honest it probably takes away from it when it comes to the 10 um i personally do like the new animation but just really for a video purpose like if it was kind of me just opening up I don't know if I'd sit there and, and actually open up every player pick. But as you can see, we've got the full 10 here. So let's have a look and see what we get. We get to pick three of these players. So we've got a 79, a 77. I have seen some questionable ones. We've now got a great start here. There's Trent. So we're going to select him as I don't feel like we'll get too much better than that. But an 86 already. Not a decent, not, not a bad one. We've got an 84 Martinez. We then have 80 Klaus. Then 81 and two left. Can we get at least an 83 in the final one? No. So realistically, what? We've got an 86. We've got an 84. And then we'll probably just go for the 80. Now, is that worth it? In a nutshell, probably no. Like, of course, of course not. Like, you're giving up in a whole 83 raid squad. But is it worth the punt? I would say yes. An 83 rated squad in this game really isn't the be-all and end-all. I like that they've tried something different here. It's obviously something they are going to continue to, to try and do. Maybe we see like a massive one where you get like a, a 10 picks out of 50. I mean, it, it literally could be endless with this. And obviously, if you are doing like 50 picks, I don't know if they'll go quite that high. I think that's just a bit of an exaggeration, but you know what I mean. Th this is just one step. If this is the very first one, you could see maybe in the footers, maybe they stick to 10 be in the maximum and go a free of 10 80 plus 82 plus which most definitely will be very very interesting to see how that does go down later on in the game so let me know who you do get from this if you do manage to get anybody good i've seen a few on twitter that have been marginally better than the two i've managed to get funnily enough this was the highest rated that i got to be honest and to be fair as an 83s go i've got nowhere else to put them so you might as well give it a hit and hope